Hi guys and welcome back to today's video of Vlogmas. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this makeup tutorial. This is one of my go-tos for the holiday season. I'm going to be using the Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette by Too Faced. This is one of my go-tos for the fall and winter and I love doing this look, especially around Christmas time. Without further ado, we're going to jump on into the makeup look. I'm going to start off by saying that the lighting in this video might change a lot because this camera reacts so weirdly to my vanity lights and so I have to go in in iMovie and edit the footage to make the lighting less yellow. The lighting is kind of weird all throughout the video and like the colors are weird. That is why I'm so sorry about it. I literally, I don't know what to do. I've played around with the settings on here and basically playing with iMovie is the only way I've gotten it to fix. So, sorry about that. Also, this background is just straight up not cute. Sorry about it. I'm just going to start off by showing you guys the products I'm going to be using on my face. I think I'm going to time lapse literally everything except my eyes because that's what I want the focus of this video to be. I'm going to start off with the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. I got this in a FabFitFun. It is absolutely amazing. If you're looking for a good primer, I highly recommend this one. I think for foundation today, we are going to be using my Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. I am in the shade 280. This is my go-to foundation. And a disclaimer before you watch the rest of the video, um, it does not match me perfectly. Just bear with me. I'm sorry about it. Um, it looks all right when all my other products are on, but with just the foundation, I do look a little crazy. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer, and I am in the shade CN40. This concealer is awesome. For powder, we are going to be using the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I'm not the biggest fan of this, but this is the only powder I have right now. For bronzer, we are going to use an oldie but a goodie in the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I used to use this all the time, as you can see. I usually use the Hoola Benefit Bronzer, but we are going to be using this for today's video. For blush, I actually want to use this MAC one that I barely ever use. It is in the shade Fuji, and it just looks like this. It might be too light. I might end up switching this blush out. It looks really, really bright on camera. Maybe it is too light. I don't know. We're going to try this. If I don't like it, I'll let you guys know and I'll switch it. <laughs> and then for highlighter, we are going to be using everyone's favorite, Becca Champagne Pop with Jaclyn Hill. This one is so good. This is my second one of these that I've used. The best highlighter in the game. It's phenomenal. For setting spray, I've been using the Ciate London Watermelon Burst. This stuff is so good. It smells literally like watermelon, obviously by the name of it, but it actually smells like watermelon. And as you can see, I've used a lot of this because I really like it. I'm not 100% decided on what lip color I'm going to use yet. I'm going to wait and see what the eyeshadow looks like before I decide a lip. For brushes and stuff, I'm using this Real Technique sponge. For powder, I'm using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH02 brush. I really need to cleanse these. Even like the handle of them are so dirty. It's really embarrassing. For bronzer, I'm using this Farah Contour 218M brush. For blush, the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH04. And then this is definitely not being used the right way, but this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH07. And I use this for highlighter because the highlighter brush in this collection, I lost. So this is what we've resorted to. And I also realized I forgot to talk about my eyebrows. I'm going to use this e.l.f eyelash and brow wand and then this morphe m165 for my actual brows as for the product i'm going to be using my billion dollar beauty box i just use the brow powder in this palette i believe this is in the shade blonde yep i absolutely love it's the first time i've ever used a brow powder and i really like it if you don't like pomade or the pencils like they just don't really work for you try the powder because i ended up really liking it so i think i'm going to get started on doing my face and then I will come back to talk more in depth about the eyeshadow. All right, y'all, so my face is pretty much on. It looks super weird on the camera. It's like not matching, but then I look in my mirror and it does match. So I don't know what's going on. Disregard that. I'm going to try to remember to tell you what brushes I'm using 
if I don't tell you, they are all Morphe Jaclyn Hill brushes. So I'm going to try to remember to tell you guys when I'm using each brush, but just in case I don't because I have a really bad habit of not telling what like tool I'm using, that's what I'm using. So we are using the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. This is one of my favorite Too Faced palettes. This one is seriously so freaking good. These are the colors. It's great for like everyday use for me personally because I use colors like this all the time. This is one of my go-to palettes, especially in the fall and winter. I use it year round, but I feel like I use it more in the fall just because it has those warm oranges and reds and stuff. And I just love to use those this time of year. We are going to start with the color Plenty of Dough and a JH30 brush. I'm just going to take that and put it all over my lid just as a nice base. So after that, we are going to take a JH33 brush, go in with the color in a pinch, and I am going to blend that all in my crease, both inner and outer, and focus on blending that up to my brow bone. I'm going to go in with that shade a second time just to really build up that color. These colors are pretty pigmented, so there's not, like you don't have to build them up a whole lot, which is something that I super, super love about this palette and why it's one of my favorites. Next, we are gonna take the shade Extra Spicy right here, and with a light hand, I don't wanna use too much of this. We are going to go all in my crease again and just not blend it up quite as high as the first shade. This color does not need a lot of building. It's a very strong color by itself. And then take that big JH30 brush and blend it. I think I want to continue with the JH33 and we are gonna go into Hot Tamale, which is that red shade. And we are gonna keep this on the outer crease and actually more like outer half of the lid. We're gonna put this on the lid as well, just on that outer half. Now we are gonna take the JH40, which is this little brush, and go into the shade Cookie Call, which is just this dark brown, and that is gonna go on the very outer corner I just like to pat it in at first since it's such a dark shade and a little bit goes a long way and you can use too much of this shade very quickly. And we are going to dip back into Hot Tamale with V33 and use that to blend the shade in. Do that to the other eye. Does not want to blend very nicely today. We are going to take the JH41, which is just a flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to try a shade I don't normally use. We're going to use this shade Drizzle It, which is a darker shimmery shade. I've only used this like a handful of times, but... And we are just going to put that on the inner half of my lid. Bye. Like so, take that 33 and just blend it in the middle just so that it's not super choppy looking. And then we're going to use this itty bitty brush, a JH39, and we are going to take, we're going to use extra spicy today and do that under the waterline. And then you want to make sure that it's kind of blended just because with as bold of a shade as this is, you don't want it to be like choppy, you know what I mean? We are gonna take JH42 and we are gonna find my highlighter again. We're gonna use Champagne Pop and pop that in the inner corner and also above the brow bone. Just to make those chops. 
there's that eyes so i'm gonna finish off with a line of the maybelline master precise all day liner and then we're gonna use this kiss lash glue liner this stuff is bomb they sent this to me and it is the easiest stuff to apply it's so much easier than putting glue on the lashes and then like sticking them on so much easier to just use the liner and i think we're going to be using these ignore the bottom of the pack i think we're going to be using some ardell wispies today just because those are my go-to i love them i use them all the time i have so many packs of wispies just like floating around everywhere but we're gonna go ahead and use those The lashes are now on. I forgot to say what mascara I was using. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex, as always. So now we are gonna put on a lip color. First, I like to put on a chapstick. I'm just gonna use the Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean. This is one of my favorites. I think I'm gonna be using this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. This is the shade Sandstorm. I saw this on TikTok and I've been looking for it ever since. I finally found it at Ulta. I'm using this. And this is the finished look. I love to pair a natural nude lip with a bold eyeshadow. I think that that just looks good together. Here is what the eyes look like more up close. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. Leave a comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye.